Hey guys and gals, DJ Zena here. And Katie. And this day, we are actually playing a little bit of Pokemon Go. Um, granted, <laughs> you know, my first time doing this in Texas, and so I am definitely going to be seeing a bit more different Pokemon here than I do normally in Nebraska. So, plus, uh, weather activity is kind of... Uh, it's saying that weather... <laughs> The yeah, and also because of that, it's increased or like it's kind of messed with the algorithms a bit for uh, spawn rates of certain Pokemon. Yeah. So it says that weather conditions are potentially dangerous. Be aware of your surroundings. Check your local weather service, and then it says. Yeah. Which is very. Poison. These Pokemon types are stronger, appear more frequently, and give bonus Stardust when caught. So I was wrong. It was not uh, XP. It was Stardust. Oh well. And advice I have to give when you're catching a Pokemon. Catch more than one of said Pokemon if it's... Oh. If it doesn't, then like... Okay, who just spawned for me? He's open. Oh, come on! That is such bullshit. Got it. Come on. Ah! Let's see here. Oh, use a red on this. Yeah, you got it. Yes. First day. Granted, that streak won't be kept up. Once I go back to Nebraska. <sighs> Ooh. And we got this thing. Electric. Remember, I have to walk all the way to the park so energy can serve my energy. Okay. Oh, electric, don't do this. Oh, come on. Oh! What did it flee? Yeah, it fled. Oh. Although I gave it a damn raspberry. What the hell? God. Ah, jealous. I shouldn't have a lucky egg on. Do you have any lucky eggs, huh? Oh, let me check my items. Uh, I got potions. I got a raid pass. Okay, nope. No lucky egg. Darn. I've got one. Do you have any incense? Nope. And I'm walking a Bulbasaur. Uh, I don't have any incense either. I'm, I'm walking a Scyther. Ah. Uh. Because I got a random evolution item. I got a metal coat, so I'm trying to get my uh, scissor. Uh, I filled it with the wrong E2s. So I got the root beer. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, like. Oh! Hey, Gat. Ooh, what'd you get? Hatch multi. <laughs> Geodude. <laughs> nice. Not bad. Ooh, and I got a metal. Juven unlocked. That's more XP. Exactly. 200. Yeah, the, the the thing is, when Pokemon Go first started, he walked the 10k and got a Pidgey. Yeah, such yeah. such bullshit, such bullshit. Troll. Yeah. All oh, right. Now that um. That's super incubator thing. Yeah, I know. All right. I've got a 10k that's now a 6.7k. Because... All right, I got a 5k on the incubator on uh, right now. I, I just do. started, so. I have to walk one more kilometer for this 5k to hatch. Alright. 
So far the spawns aren't very aren't very numerous, but yeah. There's a, we're we're headed towards a focus stop to sit and chill for a minute. So. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ooh. What'd you get? Anything spawn? Oh, there you go. You got a seal. I caught one of those already. I think. Oh. I think. Okay. No. Yeah, those are guaranteed to pop out almost every single time. Don't wish for them. There's also a rebellia right next to it. Oh. Well, I tapped the wrong Pokemon. What the hell? That's just strong. You can't catch it. Okay. Catch the one behind it. for your Pokedex because uh, Rosalia's at the region for. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, there Yeah, if I had an unlimited data point, I'd actually live stream this. <laughs> nice, you got it. Sweet. 600 XP. Bada boom. Example of teams getting along. Yeah, she is Valor and I'm Instinct. Yeah, and my uh, one of my one of my best friends is Valor, and then the other one's Mystic. <laughs> Wait, which one is uh, Kagome? Mystic. Ah, uh, okay. And Mel is Mystic. <laughs> Like, literally, no joke, she'll be like, she plays it on her tablet. Because <laughs> obviously she doesn't have a phone. Yeah. So, she'll be like, Katie, I got a freaking Blastoise. And I'll be like, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you just caught one of those things. Yeah, conserve your Pokeballs. Yeah, at least until I can get some mold treads and grates. And I'm gonna put a lure module down as well, so. Oh, sweet. Okay. Is it park up there? Yep. Also, he's mad because I get spawns in my room. <laughs> yeah. Play the game in bed. I should have caught it when we were sitting on my bed. There was a Zangus. Oh, damn it. Well, remember, I didn't have any Pokeballs. Oh, that's... I bought you some. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if it'll still be there when we get back. Doubt it. Although we'll have some new Pokemon spawns when we get back. I think it's actually based by, like, cell phone activity. Also, I live on a that's really, like, populated, so... High traffic area. Ooh, we got a swine up. Hey, yeah, nerd. One six. Oh. I need the candy. Well, this is zero Nick juice I'm on now. Oh, you stupid! Yeah, this wind ups me no. Royal pain. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Got it, critical capture, baby. Oh, yeah. And, oh, another Roselia. Whatevs. Yeah, doesn't have an evolution token before. And we have yet to hear anything about Gen 4. <laughs> so, I only need five more swing up candies and I can get up the But then I've got to start all over and get Mammoth Swine, which is like 100 Speaking of candies, Magikarp. Freaking Magikarp, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. I've been saying that for two years since the game started. And I just evolved my game by playing the third week. And now there's Charge Magikarp. Can Charge do his thing? Oh, yeah, because he loves the shiny hunt. I love shinies! <laughs> One of these days, I want to do a 
Wonder Trade stream with you to do shiny uh, Wonder Trade hunt. Ah, okay. Once we actually have the equipment to do so. I wish I could probably get your 2D, your original 2DS uh, modded with a capture card. That'd be awesome because I don't want to dare do that to my new 2DS. Also, slow down. Whew. Walking too fast for me, baby. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just so hole. I'm just so conditioned from work to go quick. Yeah, the sign does say toddler park, but me and my friends go sit there and play Pokemon Go all the time. I mean, it's got Pokemon stuff, and plus, parents would be there with their toddlers anyway, so who gives a shit? Yeah. There's no pets allowed. Obviously. Well, honestly, I didn't get in trouble. I took Maggie in one of them. Look at this thing. What the fuck? Someone's breaking the heart in the street. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. When uh, when they came to put down new cement because they were doing a sewer project on the house on Sharon Drive, they used to have that that I showed you. I, me and my uh, skater friends, we actually carved in our favorite uh, brand logo for skate equipment. Into the road? No, into uh, the sidewalk. What? I don't know, because you're rebels. We were uh, three scares who didn't give a shit. Formerly known as Team Bird Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I think um you know if we were to come up with our own YouTube team name Team Pidgey. Oh, oh. that's just about to say that's what spawned when you said that. No, that's an oddish. I already have enough of that. Oh, Oh shit. Uh oh. 5.2? CP for this Oddish is 5.2. Holy shit. Ain't no way I'm catching up CP 5.2 Oddish. Two great balls, three pokeballs, and a raspberry. Balls, three, uh, and four Pokeballs. So I need to get to a hundred Scyther candies, and I've only got nine. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. But I don't have much uh, space on this phone left, so um, that's a little small sash. So peace out, guys, and have a good day. And we're on. Hi. <laughs> what? Just introduce what we're doing. Oh, sorry, I didn't know what we were doing. Um, so he wanted thought it would be fun to get a makeover done by me. So and then yeah. gonna do the reverse, so he's gonna do mine and I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Girl, uh, fiance does my makeup. There we go. Well, we hadn't made that. I guess we could make all, all three videos before you upload that since you spoiled it.
Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um. Yeah. So, like, I always do eyes first because if you mess up or get fallout on the under eye, if you had already done your face, it'll mess it up. Also, I don't believe, like, I don't use foundation and stuff and all that garbage, so I won't be using any foundation in this. Let me see if this is the right brush, even. No, it's this one. No, it's not. Ah, crap! I have a lot of brushes. I'm sorry. Like, no joke. This is, like, a full brush set, like, see? So I have to find out which one's the right one. You're sitting very quietly and patiently like a good boy. <laughs> yeah, plus I'm trying to get mm. a little better way on the situation. Slightly. Oh, should I, should I be like a professional and explain what palette I'm using? Yeah. So this is the um, beauty gems I got from Ulta. can't really show it on camera, but I can try. This is kind of just like... Sorry, babe. That's like the gist of it. It's, it's a lot of colors, basically. A lot of like browns and like neutral tones and stuff like that. So, yeah. should be fun. If I can even figure out what I'm doing. Also, disclaimer. First time I've ever used this brush set. So, Or this palette, for that matter, though. That's way too shiny. I don't want to put shine on you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what it is about. Well, the resolution I'm recording at. It's. Kind of almost got as if. Oh, no, this is not good. These brushes are. Yeah, that's just, not a... Oh. Just wing it. <laughs> it came with the crappy applicators that most people don't like to use. I'm also going to write a review to Amazon on these brushes later tonight. Because screw you guys for thinking that these brushes are actually good. This color sucks. I have... I know what I'm going for. It's just not working out in my favor. There will be pictures at the end of the video. Oh, there will be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't squint, babe. Does that hurt? I'm also at a weird angle doing this, so. You shouldn't squint. It's not, it doesn't yeah, work so. that way. It's fine. See, he, for like his cosplays and stuff, he's used to doing it himself. So. Also, I know that that's your bad eye, so. You need to look up a little bit, like, your, your head, not your eye. Also, you've got me in the video, by the way. <sighs> You're definitely more patient and better at sitting still than my friends. Mm. Or super giggly, and you know which friends I'm talking about. Okay. Don't rub your, did you just rub your eye? No, I rubbed my nose. That's why you don't rub your eye. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, it does kind of hurt a little bit doing my right eye for some weird reason. My and... palate broke. Oh, boy. Oh, well. I'll, I'll get some glue and I'll fix it. Also, never buy cheap makeup, I guess, is my... Lesson that I'm learning here. This is completely raw. I... 
Everything happens, and this is real. Are you just making that because of what happened with Logan this morning? Yeah. This is completely raw and unedited footage of me raging. And Pop. a uh, makeup kit kind of screwing up. Take that. Mm. Yeah, plus I usually end up using, like, just my my finger to do my eyeshadow application most of the time. I've or never... the crappy applicators. Yeah, I, I usually use the one that comes with my M Cosmetics palette. You need to look at me. Not, don't focus the camera on me. lighting in my room sucks. <sighs> thank you for offering, but... Oh! Thank you. That helps, doesn't it? Oh. I'm just basically giving you, like, just a little bit of a glow is what I'm trying to do. Ah, okay. Also, we're at home with my parents, so that's why they're talking other than us. Okay. Ready? Yep. You know you don't have to do that, right? Oh crap. I got it all over you. I'm sorry. I'm just going to use my fingers because this is a um really... I got it on sale kind of, so... It's kind of a little bit uh, prone to break. Mm. Okay, now you need to do this. That's dark. I didn't expect it to be dark, but you're done, basically. So. Alright, now for... There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, the lighting in here sucks. Here. Is that better? Maybe. <laughs> I think it's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I it did. did good on you. The eyeshadow was really sparkly, and I didn't know it was that sparkly. <laughs> See? No. Uh, no, look at the... Mm. That's as good as we're going to get, I think. Hey guys, so we just did a video where I did his makeup and now he's gonna do mine. And I'm terrified, but I trust him, so. Obviously, when I say him, you probably can already figure out who we're talking about, but. Yep. You smell like you smell like your vape juice. Mango and peach. It smells good, it's just Is it easier doing it on somebody else than doing it on yourself? Yeah. I'm not looking at the camera, by the way, so... 
Although I just did. Oh golly, babe. <laughs> Got a lot of blush. <laughs> I'm I'm still a complete makeup newbie, so. But again, we're we're both kind of amateurs. Then ah! again, girls naturally have the talent, so. And you're also visually impaired. <laughs> <laughs> This is all real and raw, folks. This is my legit experience here. And this. trust me, I do makeup a lot better than this usually, so. Yeah, as you kind of saw in your uh, makeup uh, routine video from a while back in 2017. My pretty and peach is what I called that one. Yeah. My hair is like sticking to my face. <laughs> Did I overload it? I don't know, I'm not looking. Also, be very careful with that, because it stains. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. And this is why, like, videos of girls doing, letting their boyfriends do their makeup, this is why they get lots of views, because they're funny, because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> Except I'm no longer just the boyfriend. I'm the fiancé. Yep. So, bye-bye. You're about to get green lipstick all over you. <laughs> uh. Bye, guys. Hey, foodies. What is up? This is DJ Zena, and with my special guest, Katie Sparks. And, mind you, this is my first time ever, ever, A, being in Texas, and B, having Whataburger. Yes, the same Whataburger, you probably are familiar, if you haven't been anywhere near one, you probably at least heard of it through King of the Hill or uh, Beavis and Butthead, especially since there was an or episode. Or if you have any friends that are Texans, they don't shut up about it. Yeah, they, they, they say it's like <laughs> almost like the second coming of Christ when it comes to food. Are and you fast food me? Yeah, well, I mean, most, most Texans are like that, but anyways... I am trying the fries and the, the patty the, melt. Yeah, with the special ketchup that they've got. Yeah, so this fancy ketchup, as they call it. So, first impressions. Hmm. Definitely the ketchup definitely tastes a little bit different than what I'm used to. Right. Down to McDiddles. Or a standard Heinz ketchup. Now the fries by themselves. It would be better if they were a little bit warm, but, you know, things get cold when you do carry out when it's New Year's Eve and people everywhere are getting a burger. Okay, so the fries and the ketchup, I definitely give a thumbs up. On this this is the fancy ketchup. They also have a spicy version, but... I'm a little bit too uh, chicken shit for, uh, <laughs> for the spicy. Now the patty melt. On Texas toast, no less, although it's not really toast. Well, then again, same thing with the whole carry out deal, so... Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually really good. I told you. Thumbs up. Patty melt's my favorite, and then the sweet and spicy is my other favorite. Oh, um, I'll get this a little nibble as well. Right here. Mm. Mm. Eating my sandwich. Tell me, oh, there's a little bit of the spicy kick, but it's like more mild when you first bite in. Yeah, it, it like literally the first time I had it, I got about halfway through the sandwich, and then it like rams into you. So, I gotta say, her patty melt, excellent. 
uh, sweet and spicy. Excellent. Thumbs up. If you ever come to Texas or anywhere down south where there's a water burger, go get it. Get it. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. Happy New Year's. The initial first impression was just the main burger, apparently. It wasn't until I just recently hit the orange sauce it's inside. Like, it's literally about ha No matter what, say, if you get the... So don't make sure it's sturdy. You can just don't... Mm. If you... When you get about halfway, see? I'm literally about halfway through the... I keep doing that. About halfway through the sandwich. This is a part of my sandwich. When you get about halfway through the sandwich, you get the spicy part of the sweet and spicy oh. sauce. <laughs> and it's oh hot. my god! Oh, it's it's good flavor, but it's hot. Yeah. So, like, if you're gonna get this with your fries, get like ranch or have a glass of milk on standby. Yeah. Oh. Or rub your tongue with an ice cube. Wait, 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 wait! It's hot. Wait, how does how does that exactly help? What rubbing your tongue with an ice cube? Yeah. It, at least it's cool. Mm. Although dairy, I would say rec I would definitely recommend like getting a milkshake from Whataburger if you're gonna get the spicy stuff, or have some like ranch with your fries or something. Or basically, would be like Duke Nukem and have balls of steel. I can't have balls of anything. I'm a girl. You know, you know what I mean. Bravery. Oh yeah. And just a tongue of Dillagaff. I don't have a tongue of Dillagaff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so th this, this, was, this is the aftermath. <laughs> this is the uh, midpoint. This is the midpoint. And then aftermath, y'all probably don't want to see because it's kind of um private because of reason. The bathroom. <laughs> Peace. Hey guys, it's Katie Sparks here, and I'm here with DJ Zana. Finally in Texas, I'm so happy. Yeah. Not on camera. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, we're here going, it's also hard to look at the camera because the thing's up here, so. Yeah. We're going to be trying all sorts of snacks, drinks, whatever from my local Asian market, which he doesn't have back home. Oh, I kind of have one, but it's a little bit. It's not as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as good as ours. Yeah. So, he also tried Rutterburger for the first time today, and how did that go? Uh, let's just sit here. Spicy stuff happened. He had the patty melt, and I had the sweet and spicy uh, bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Both equal, both spicy, although mine was a little bit spicier. About halfway through the sandwich, well, you can see the reviews on his channel if you want, if you don't live in Texas. Yeah. But it's worth getting. It's very, very good, and it was just very spicy. We end up having to get some milk, but... Yeah. Anyway, we've got all kinds. We've got one, two, three, four, crap. Ignore me, I'm clumsy. Four flavors of Pocky, two kinds of Kit Kats, some Hello Panda biscuits. Obviously, um, Hello Panda biscuits, I'll explain those in a minute. Hello Panda biscuits are basic. They have the chocolate and strawberry ones at HEB and Kroger and Walmart, if you've ever been to HEB, Kroger, or Walmart. But I didn't know they had a vanilla kind, so. And then we got these wonderful Pokemon things right Yeah, here. these are uh, like wafer cookies. And yeah, it's all in kanji, obviously. But the I've had these before. These are so good. Recording. Sorry, my sister's visiting for the weekend. Um, did you want to try those first? Actually, let's try the green tea Kit Kats. Uh, I've never had those. These are so good. I mean, See? I've, I've had regular Kit Kats, but never green, green tea, tea flavored. I've had white chocolate. I've had standard chocolate. I've never had green tea. So that's what they look like. They're obviously green. So it's matcha green tea or matcha Ooh. mixed with white chocolate. Mm. Mm. Ready? Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, like, like, like the chocolate mm -hmm. it, it's just like the initial mm -hmm. I guess I've never really been a green tea drink fan but the white chocolate almost overpowers the green yeah. tea yeah I could go white chocolate back in it 
kind of overpowers the rest. So it makes mm -hmm. up for it. Mm -hmm. So, I, like I said, I like the light. I liked uh, the white chocolate uh, ones by themselves. Just eh, green teas. Not oh. really my thing. I don't like the dark chocolate Kit Kats. Are they a dark chocolate one? I think so. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess to help wash down that, we're going to try... You want to do the, the sangria, uh, the raspberry, or the mango creamy? No, we're doing the uh, grape ramene. The sa it's grape sangria, see? Yeah. It says sangria at the top. Ah, okay. I'm going to do this one. She'll pop the top. I, every time I've ever done it, ever, it's... uh. Always, <laughs> always exploded in my face. So yeah, there's a little marble. Mm, that's a good one. I can drink all of that. <laughs> mm. We're gonna be drinking these throughout the night, by the way. Actually, this almost tastes like uh, one of those mocktails. Kind of reminds me of a good uh, sweet wine. You think that's what the mocktail that they had at Walmart would have tasted like? Possibly. We did get one of those, by the way. We got the uh, pina colada one. Because he left his pina colada e-liquid at home. <clears throat> yeah, which, by the way, shameless plug, I actually have a review of on my channel, so... Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Put that over there. <sighs> now... I'm going to go for these wafer cookies. So he's got one with all the Ash Hat Pikachu <laughs> on them. Yeah, the gangster Pikachu. And mine's got one Ash Hat Pikachu and Ho-Oh. And these are new ones because, look, it says, I choose you, the 20th movie. So, uh -huh. And these are by Lottie. And it literally says, Wheat Cracker, product of Japan. So, like I said, it's all in kanji. Yeah, like, my Asian market doesn't have near enough of the oh, candy. Oh, look! Well, they come with stickers, babe. Oh, more, more uh... Stickers for my... Actually, more another sticker for uh, my gaming PC. Yeah, so I got, uh, Midnight Lycanroc. Hello. We'll see, uh, what the RNG gods bless me with on this pack of them. It's underneath it. And then you get the little thing on the back. Which I think is supposed oh. to be like a puzzle. Don't knock over the camera. Of course, I'm trying to get this out here without breaking the crack. Are you okay? Yeah, without That's much crumbs. Getting all over your pants and my bed and the table. So yeah, these, these are a bit on the messy side. Who did I get? You got Incineroar. That's your favorite. Ha <laughs> ha! My starter choice. Bada bing. If you would have got Decidueye, you would have had to train me. <laughs> I love the Sijuai. The Sijuai is yes. So yeah, that's, according to her, the Sijuai is bay. Sijuai is bay. <laughs> so that's what they look like, and they're filled with like chocolate. Uh, so, so it's basically like um oh god, those uh those rectangle mm -hmm. wafer. Okay, this is probably not gonna taste that much different though. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I love these. Yeah, pretty much about the same. I've had these the, before. Except it's like a vanilla or a straight wafer with mm -hmm. uh, chocolate. But I knew that they came with stickers. I just said ooh because they changed them for the Gen 7 Pokemon. But, mm. And I have two more in the bag for tomorrow. Mm. Or whenever. Alright, I'll open this one. Because mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do the... Um, Raspberry one the last, mango cream. funny. Yeah, the mango cream soda. I'm gonna move, put this over here. Mm. I was thinking we should have had uh, short glasses in here for this. Oh well. Uh, oh well. I'll take a first shot of this, because this is good. Mmm. Oh, that is good. <laughs> I told you. So... Mango and pe... Because no joke. Actually... Oh, yeah. Because, no joke, that is basically the same flavor. Yeah. Same 
exact flavor as this. Yeah, it's a peach mango combo drink. Yeah. <laughs> I just got done drinking like this a, flavor. A milky white color if you like poured it out of the bottle. <laughs> so it's kind of gross if you think about what it's supposed to look like. But I've had this before. Uh, pe people made the joke about uh, the ketchup versus mayonnaise battle in Splatoon and how the, the mayonnaise looks like jizz. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> and now this is no longer a kid-friendly channel. Goodbye, YouTube. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I forgot but my filter. The good thing about this one, the metal bottles rather than the glass bottles, is you can it, screw it back on and reseal it and save it if you don't want to drink all of it. That, and it's reusable. Yeah, I guess, if you can wash it out good enough. Oh, yeah, I've been able to do that with the... Um, so many flavors of with, Pocky. With, with the Venom. Let's do these Kit Kats last. So, mm. with the what? We'll do these. I got crumbs all over me from those dumb wafer cookies. Um, so yeah. this is a uh, Pocky. Y'all obviously y'all probably all know what Pocky is. It's like mm. the like labeled food for otaku's and wee but weeaboo. It's, so. it's like the main staple at every anime convention ever. ever. Yeah. <laughs> every. Every snack vendor oh, I've ever come, you. yeah. A, a, every snack vendor I've come across it. Every anime convention I've gone to always has pocky. Mm. It's this. It's one of the few staples. So um, this is a new flavor of pocky. This is pocky squeeze, which I'm guessing is like dipped in like kind of like what what you'd expect to be like sorbet, chocolate cream covered biscuit sips. Except these are mango. I hope they're not chocolate mango. Actually, it might not be a bad combo. Excuse me. It's that yeah. water burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, so it's more than one. Oh, there's three packets. Uh oh. What if we don't like it? Actually, I'm probably going to end up liking this and I'll take the rest <laughs> home with me. <laughs> or you could give the rest to Crystal. Uh, I mean, give one packet to Crystal and uh, one to Parker. Or, uh. Oh, God. Kagome. And I don't remember on, on, her, her alias, her yeah. Ugh. Since you think you'll end up liking this, you can go first. Mm. Not bad. Then, then again, I'm one for weird and wacky flavors. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> Actually, I feel I should down that with this. Not with that. What? I wanted to save that one. And we gotta finish this off anyway. Okay. It, like the, it's bad when the first the instinct you think when you taste something is cheese. That's that's what you thought. Like the squirtable oh. cheese. Oh, uh, you mean cheese whiz? No, the squirtable one, like the uh, spray cheese or whatever the frick it's called. No, the spray the spray on cheese. No, that's cheese whiz. Cheese whiz is the stuff that comes in the jar. Trust me, I know. I used to have it on toast. No, 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 all. because they have the... Uh, oh, the spray. cheese whiz makes a spray one now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I saw it on... Uh, oh, God, the nostalgia check. So, yeah. These ain't bad. No. I give them a thumbs up. No, no, <laughs> no. No. Okay, so that's neutral on this. Mm. Neutral? I say no. <coughs> I say heck no. Well, I mean, inner judgments combined. Yeah. And the thing about them, they don't they don't sell them in, like, regular boxes. They're all in, like, big boxes. So if we don't like them, you know. Well, I mean, we can give them to friends. And make our parents try them. And make our parents hate us forever. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so this is berry chocolate, which Actually, I'm guessing is strawberry. Yeah, this might actually work out better in your favor. And they had freaking giant Pocky, which he was like, way, that's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, because my Asian Mark and Nipper had the giant Pocky boxes. They always yeah. had the regular size. See, they also have this store in our mall called Lolly and Pops, which is like a candy boutique, but stuff's way too expensive. Also, oh, yeah, I tried Butterbeer. Yeah, he tried Butterbeer. Amazing. Yeah. 
Mm. Mmm. I like that one. Like a, a small bit of a berry kick, but like then the chocolate it's overpowers. It's very mute. Yeah, a very mute berry with uh, chocolate. Mm. So it's like a, um, oh god, the chocolate covered dry fruit mix. That's kind of mm -hmm. what this kind of reminds me of. It kind of, all that kind of think, uh, chocolate covered raisins. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Or like yeah. cranberries, chocolate covered cranberries. Oh yeah. I forget that was thing. I think it is. So I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I say nail on that one. Thumbs up on my end. So what now? Um, you choose. Uh, do, do, do let's do this thing. So it says giant capi caplico, which is like this cone thing. This is a complete um mystery to us. We have no clue what this is. Almost looks like for ice cream. No, it's not chocolate. I think it's coffee. <laughs> Oh! Doesn't it smell like coffee? Oh yeah, straight up. Guys, I don't like coffee. I don't think she'll even. Well, I think <laughs> I think she'll like. Well, okay, mocha caramel. I think you could you could like tolerate that. But like this is like just straight mocha. It's coffee. I I picked these out, so I feel stupid. It's not funny. You're laughing. Oh my god. So this is like if dehydrated ice cream was a thing. Astronaut ice cream. Yeah, that, that that's kind of been just a manufactured fib for years. No, Astronauts do not have that kind of... They have standard food on... I will Google... I, when I'm done recording, I will Google that. And prove it uh, no, because at, Adam ruined that. Whatever, just eat your freaking ice cream cone. <laughs> Or your cookie cone, or whatever the frick this is supposed to be. Mm. Is it coffee? Or is it chocolate? Kind of has a little bit of a coffee hint, but it's not like the chocolate overpowers it. Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh, okay, okay. Take a bite. Excuse uh, me, oh, that oh. Whataburger. It tastes like these. It tastes like the chocolate in these. Yeah. So there you go. Ain't that bad on your end. Mmm, yeah. the, con the cone's good. Yeah, the cone tastes like your standard waffle cone that you'd have for ice cream anyways. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Mmm. You know we have to finish all of this, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll finish that later after we're done with this. We're gonna watch more season four of Once Upon a Time. Yeah. The Frozen Arc. Yep. Okay. Elsa's Bay, by the way. Best Disney princess. She's a queen. Yeah. Yeah, no joke. I took a um, quiz on what Disney uh, royalty you were. I did get Elsa. <laughs> which is funny. I guess the whole, like, cold heart thing kind of goes along with my Slytherin. House and Harry Potter. Meaning Elsa would be Slytherin by the Sorting Hat. Yeah, and Anna, her sister, I think would be Hufflepuff. Uh, no, because she's like so excitable and happy and everything all the time. Uh, yeah, she is a lot like Crystal. Oh! What? Mmm. Smells like caramel, and I'm not a big caramel in person. Mmm. Actually, that might go well mixed with that. Mmm. Caramel and chocolate. Like, the smell is super overpowering, but I don't taste anything. No, uh, like, it, it's it's a huge... It's mute. No, 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 Like, you, you taste... Oh, the... wait. No, no, no. The caramel mm -hmm. is, like, the forefront... It's kind of like, um... It's more like a Heath bar. I okay, I, I barely taste it. No, like the chocolate is what's mute. It's mm -hmm. the, the caramel the, is very there. Yeah, or it, more like or no, um, toffee, but or yeah, toffee. Yeah, it tastes like toffee. Yeah, 
It's called blonde chocolate, by the way, if you guys wanted to get yourself some. This Whataburger is just going in our stomachs with this Japanese stuff, guys. So forgive us if we're a bit, um... Gassy. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> mm. We got three more things to go, and we're already at 18 on the time clock. Yep. It's going to be a long video, guys. <laughs> I should have said that at the beginning. Um, do you want to do Hello Panda or ch uh, Choco Banana? Choco Banana will finish off the Pocky boxes. So this is the normal size box, if that's what you're wondering. This is the normal one compared to, like, the party pack or whatever the heck you want to call it, which has four packs in it. Yeah. And the Pocky stays good for about a month, as long as it's not open. Trust me, I've tried. I mean, I've known this because I got Pocky last time, so... Yeah. Also, I do need to thank my cousin for telling me about this place because I didn't know about this place till now. Oh. Till a couple months ago. So. Shout out to that one. <sighs> oh boy. Ooh, yeah, the banana is really pronounced. Oh, and they're all breaking. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Oh, they've been stuck together. Probably melted in the store or something. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Do I have one? Crap. You know what? For forget you. Get over there. What do you think? Yeah, the banana is, like, really pronounced. No joke. Well, I gotta taste more of the banana than anything. All the other flavors are, like, muted out by the banana. It's just banana and chocolate. Yeah, I don't even taste the chocolate. I just taste straight banana. The biscuit stick is chocolate, and the banana is the cream. Because you know how it's normally a vanilla biscuit stick? Also, you got it on your hand. Not anymore, you don't. Yeah. But, no, but no joke. I'm tasting... Mm -hmm. I, I don't taste any of the chocolate. I taste just banana. Like, the banana just overpowers everything. Right. Really but good. definitely a thumbs up on the it's last good. It's good, though. Yeah. It's good. I think they get. I'm a sucker for all all the pocky flavors. Granted, so, there's one pocky flavor I have not been able to find at all. What is it? Chocolate mint. I want to try that. He found that in an anime convention one year. Yeah, I want to try 2011, it. and no, I found mm -hmm. it one time. I haven't right. been able to find it since. Right. Um. So, out of all the pocky, which one was your favorite? Chocolate banana. Or no, no. I I'd, I'd say. Your favorite? Seriously, the, you're getting crumbs all over my bed. Seriously, the chocolate mango. Yeah, I like the chocolate mango. And then... I next, say chocolate, but now it's my favorite. And then, uh, the... The the blonde chocolate. But, yeah. The blonde chocolate, and then the... Berry. Uh, berry. And then the banana is, like, dead last. I'm Banana's just, my favorite. Yeah, like, I don't mind banana, but it's, like... The, the flavor combo, like... It doesn't even taste like a damn flavor combo. It tastes, mm -hmm. like... Just banana. I don't even taste the chocolate. Right. But still, thumbs up. You're, yeah. Also, the background's kind of different because you're used to normally seeing my desk or my yeah. desk set up, but we're on my bed because there's no room for two people at my desk. So, hello, Panda. Well, then it's a food review, so. Yeah. What does food have to do with being on a bed? Well, I mean, the, the TV tray. Oh, uh, yeah, because we were watching TV earlier. Good point. So, see if I can get these freaking Hello Panda biscuits here, open. Here, I can get that. I got it. You sure? Oh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, you've probably all seen the strawberry and the chocolate ones, but I didn't know that they came in vanilla. Hmm. Camera doesn't want to focus on it. Oh, well. So, these are by Menji, which I also thought made Pocky, but they don't. Um, Glyco makes Pocky, so. If you believe it or not, Pocky is technically actually an American made product. Mm hmm. I don't smell it's anything. It, I think maybe it's inside. So they also call, they call these Hello Panda because there are little designs of pandas on them, and some of them maybe. are shaped like panda bears. Yeah, I think. No, the, the cream is inside. I know. I thought I'd smell it. Mm. Yeah, I'll smell it with the spaceship. Mm. It's very like it's good flavor, but it's very like barely there. Yeah, it tastes more like a graham cracker with vanilla and cream. But 
I taste more graham cracker. I taste like, like graham crackers! Yeah. And it's now, good, though. And now we'll finish... Uh, babe? Oh. oh yeah. We we'll, fi have... we'll finish off the food portion. We don't know what these are because they got, like, a little flower on them. We're thinking they're sakura, but... We don't know. The lady at the store said that these are just standard white chocolate. No, they're not standard white chocolate. Mmm. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are dark chocolate. Please don't be dark chocolate. I wouldn't say it's dark chocolate. Hmm. Nope. They are freaking flavored with flowers. <laughs> Ta do, th do this. Yeah. It tastes like a plant. <laughs> it tastes like a room freshener. <laughs> oh my god. This is dark chocolate. It's, it's dark chocolate freaking Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, I heard that, like, you know how, okay, there, there was this whole thing of, like, Pocky in America versus Kit Kat in Japan. Oh my gosh, the Kit Kat game in Japan is nutso. Ugh. I did got a seaweed flavor. I'm gonna bring this to mom, she'll like it, I'm sure. I'm not. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh! <coughs> what? Are you okay? Oh. Okay, yeah, you're right. Did you get it now? Did you get get the hit now? Yeah, upon the second freaking bar. Yeah, so those are freaking dark chocolate Sakura, which is cherry blossom flavored um, Kit Kats. Also, if you've never had a... Uh, if you've never been to Japan, uh, cherry blossoms are called... Uh, is basically the flavor of cherry blossom is Sakura over there. And they have a Sakura McFlurry. All right. Now to finish off this whole shebang. With Ramune only So they have like Sok Sasuke. They have So as soon as Kagome gets the video uploaded, you'll see that me, her, and our guest, I forgot who she said she was. Lexi. Lexi, that's it. Uh. Tried the melon one that had Nar uh, Na Naruto on it. Yeah. But this is the raspberry one that's got Sasuke on it. You sure that's Sasuke? Alright. I don't know if Sasuke. That's obvious. It, it's Sasuke. Or, or is it ich Ichika? I think it might be Ichika. Uh, you, put down in the comments who you think this is. Is this Ichika or Sasuke? I think it's, I, th I think it's Ichika. But, do you want to open it? Yeah. I'll give it a shot here. Yeah. Ooh, that scent. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, man. That smells right, good. I'm taking the first shot here. Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A really sweet this berry. Is, this is the best one. A best very one. sweet strawberry. Or, or, or wait, or is this red raspberry? It's it's raspberry. Yeah. It's strawberry. Yeah, like, oh my god. That's really good. Don't drink all of it. Nope. No, it's washing my face. It's <laughs> okay. But yeah, that finishes it. Sorry this was such a long video. Also, we like to talk, so. And, but... and of course, it's New Year's Eve, and there's fireworks going off everywhere, so sorry for the explosions in the And the, the fam background. all family's all here and stuff, yeah, but... We're gonna try to record a couple more videos while he's here, but we don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, And so. we got a secret live stream on my channel. So. Which y'all will see later, and I will probably yeah. do, will upload it. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Bye. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Katie. And DJ Asana. And we want to talk a little bit about, because a lot of people ask how we met, how we got together, 
that sort of thing. And so we kind of want to talk about that and where we are now and future plans. So we basically met up in a role play chat on Facebook uh, called Sailor Sparks. Which obviously is a Sailor Moon role playing group. Now, obviously, what we're about to tell you may trigger some sh shippers of the original characters. Because this basically is a free-for-all group, anything goes. Yeah. And so, basically, I obviously you can probably figure out who he plays in the group. Yeah. Being the only guy, for a while, anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, you can still tell them. Yeah, I uh, play Tuxedo Mask, Mamoru Chiba, or Darian Shields. Depending uh, on which version you're watching. Yeah. And I played Amy, uh, I don't know, it's Amy in English dub, but I don't know her last name, or in or Japanese, Ami Mizuno. Mizuno, yeah, Sailor Mercury. And obviously, like, we're not gonna tell, like, any ages or anything of people that we've dated, but basically, the admin of the group and him had just kind of, like, broken up when I joined, and so she kind of, like, and she, well, she was Sailor Moon at the time. Yeah. And she kind of just, like pushed him on to me and was like, okay, you're going to role play with her, and there's no questions asked. <laughs> so, as you guys, some of you guys that do role play can tell, your relationships do happen in role plays for fun, stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I said about triggering, you know, traditional shippers of <laughs> Tuxedo Mask and Serena, or Usagi. Yeah. But, so it was the yeah. unusual ship of Sailor Mercury and Tuxedo Mask, so. Yeah, which is not really talked about i mean the the most obvious only other ship is uh venus in tuxedo mask i thought it was ray oh that or that's the other one as well not venus ray yeah because obviously everybody ships venus with kunzite even oh, though yeah. kunzite's gay but <laughs> anyway <laughs> so we role played together for a while this was about two years ago yeah. And we uh, we would talk, of course, outside of the roleplay group, you know, like, we would talk and, like, about work and school and boy slash girls, you know. Yeah. And whenever he had a problem, he would ask me or just be like, do you want to talk? I'm kind of bored, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. we would talk and then after about... I would say, what, a year? Yeah. A year, he said, can I have your phone number? And I said, why? He said, because I want to talk to you. kind of want to get to know you better than texting, because texting, obviously, isn't a good way to get to know somebody. Yeah, and then the friendship got deeper, and then um, eventually she broke up with... Well, he dumped me. Or, well, oh, he no, dumped... last year, last year. It was last year. <laughs> Not 2017 last... Uh, it's 2018 now, but in 2016. At the end of 2016, I shared a post on Facebook. Keep in mind, we had been Skyping, video chatting, phone talking on the phone, texting, that kind of thing for... Yeah. Close to 2015 and 2016. So keep yeah. that in mind. This was two, over two years. And then at the end of 2016, I shared a post on Facebook. And I said, if anybody has anything that they want to tell me but before the start of 2017, private message me. Yeah, and then I pretty much told her that I had a crush on her and that I kind of wish she was my girlfriend in a sense. And, uh, and of course, yeah. I said, that's really sweet. I had no clue, but I'm still with person I'm not going to say because, you know, privacy yeah. reasons because he also does YouTube. Yeah. And then eventually the two broke up and then on the day they broke up I was just like you know, the devil and angel kind of scenario. It's like pull the trigger now, ask her out or wait, but then it was like wait if I wait too long, some other guy's gonna swoop in and then she's gonna be gone again. This so. was like in a <laughs> this was like in like March or April that me yeah. and him broke up. And then uh I was just like, you know, I'm pulling the trigger. <laughs> and asked her out, so. And uh, we've been together ever since. It was a long-distance relationship at first, because, you know, he, I live in Texas and he lives in Nebraska, so. Yeah. Um. Then we had been making plans since, you know, April, May, for you to come visit. 
Yeah, and then got the money, got the plane tickets, got everything squared away, and well, I'm here now, and uh, now we're engaged. And um, as I mentioned on Twitter, sorry that the live stream didn't happen, technical difficulties popped up, and you know, but um, yeah, and like to address something. I have a smart alecky friend, again, not going to say who it is, because he does YouTube. They both do YouTube, I don't get it. Um, he said, how is it going to work if you two are long distance and you only get to see him occasionally, uh, like, one, twi once or twice during the whole year? Yeah. And we said, it's a test, you know, we, we have to make it, we'll, we'll make it work. I yeah. mean, if you can survive a long distance relationship, you can survive anything. Exactly. And that's why I proposed to her with a ring inside a standard Pokeball, not a Master Ball. Like, I've seen a lot of Pokemon proposals done. Because, in a lot of ways, like, you, you end up having to try harder to try to catch a Legendary with a Pokeball. And she's basically my Legendary, so. <laughs> so. She caught my heart. And, uh, yeah. And, you know, it, it was hard earlier this year because another person, again, not going to mention, that also lives in Texas, has this, like, had this huge thing for me and would not leave us alone. Yeah. And he's all like, oh, how are you going to make it work? He lives so far away. At least I'm here. Yeah. But he, what he doesn't realize is, you know, military families and everything spend months and months and months apart so yeah if they can do it we can do it yeah i mean just imagine bill and melinda gates i mean yeah we're gonna we're making plans to either most likely he'll move down to texas yeah but um she'll be coming up and visiting nebraska uh kind in of, a couple it, months yeah probably april for your birthday yeah so if you guys wanted to know who he was and everything, that's who he is, so. Yeah. So. E. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, peace out, guys. And, and like, like you said in a video you made a while ago, how, uh, oh. it's not Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg sa said that Facebook isn't a dating site. Yeah, I found her on Facebook. Mm-hmm. So. Anyways, I guess uh, that ends it, mm -hmm. and uh, peace out, and see y'all later. Bye!